What is up? I am Crypto Mason and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to the Gold Squad. We look for gold in every single aspect of our lives and we always find it. Now today, we are back for another daily market update. I am finally back home from LA and then Miami um, and I'm here. Okay, we are here. We have so much stuff to cover. There's like there's like Elon is trying to buy Twitter. The Federal Reserve is ready to go with a CBDC. We've got so much stuff to cover. So we're just going to hop into it right here. I am sorry for the lack of videos. It just gets literally impossible to film in the morning because I'm waking up at 12 uh, in the afternoon. And then we got to go to the conference. We got to go to events and different things. So it got impossible, but I am back right now. So... We also hit 100k on Twitter in the um, in this last couple weeks, and we're running the giveaway. The giveaway winner will be chosen tomorrow, okay, April 15. So you can still enter this giveaway right here. You're gonna have to scroll down through my Twitter. A, a reminder right here: make sure you're following me on Instagram. Got some new pictures going up. Also, NFT Mason will return. Uh, drop a comment if you want to see more uh, NFT Mason videos. Okay, let's get into the market. We have Bitcoin hovering at that $40,000, okay? I do see it dipping right here, $39,000. we are breaking below 40 k all right? So I did, like, people will get mad at me for saying that I was right, which doesn't make sense at all uh, because people just want to whisper your accomplishments and scream out your failures, right? Uh, so let me just scream out one of my um, accomplishments here, uh, predicting that the start of April would be horrible. Now, we only have a few more weeks of tax selling, okay? People are selling to pay their freaking tax because a lot of people probably saw their tax bill this year uh, or from 2021, and they're like, whoa, I need to sell some of my crypto, and B uh, BTC uh, sees the effects of that. Now, where do I think we're going from here? I already said April is probably going to be pretty mid, which means like, you know, this. Boom, 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 nothingness. Okay, I want to see this. We're going to go, we're going to see what happens um with Bitcoin right there. We're hovering around that 40k. In the bigger news though. Okay, we're going to talk about altcoins in a second. Let me actually pull up Crypto Bubbles. I did not um pull that up. We can see the the altcoins are also taking a hit uh, right now. Zilliqa is in the corner right here, up 6.5%. We're going to talk about our favorites like HBAR, Quant. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about Terra here. Let's get into what's happening right now oh, with yes, Elon Musk, though. Well. This is the big news uh, that I woke up to. So we all know Elon put $9 billion, or, or sorry, he bought 92 uh, 9.2 percent of of Twitter, right? Elon Musk is making a 43 billion dollar unsolicited bid. Unsolicited bid to take Twitter private. World's richest person will offer uh, 54 dollars, 54 dollars and 20 uh, cents per share in cash. So if we look at the Twitter stock right now, right? Twitter stock is 45 dollars. So Elon is offering to pay. $54 um, and buy it out in cash right there. And then he wants to take the company private. So if we look at the, what Colin posted right here, he says uh, Elon Musk gives an ultimatum to buy Twitter. So this is an ultimatum because if Twitter rejects this, he's going to dump some of his 9%, right? He's Look what he says right here. This is not a threat. It is simply not a good investment without the changes that need to be made. And those changes will not happen without taking the company private. So he's basically got um, Twitter in this like checkmate position right here, right? This ultimatum. Um, so that is very interesting. My question to you guys is, do we really want Elon Musk owning a social media platform? Do you really want him owning a social media platform? I am not sure. There is good aspects and there's horrible aspects to that, uh, but we never know what could happen. My actual response to this would be to keep keep keeping an eye 
like stay keeping an eye on blue sky and obviously by the way they're tr they're making this elon thing into like free speech and all this like debating whether elon musk is for free speech if he is that could be good for twitter blah 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 i would say keep your eye on blue sky um jack clearly jack the creator of twitter clearly saw that something was wrong with twitter and he uh jumped ship and went to blue sky okay and this is completely separate from twitter but it is funded from twitter moving on we need to talk about h bar staking i am pretty stupid i missed um i missed the deadline for this okay i did not have access to my hash pack wallet uh while i was in miami i i didn't have my uh I didn't have access to my Hashpack wallet in Miami. Now I'm back and I do have access. And when I try to stake, let's say I want to stake 3,000, right? I have 6,000 right now in my Hashpack. I click stake, right? Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put in my password there. But when you do when you do try to stake, um, it does not work for me, right? And they're approaching their 200 million limit right there um the 200 million limit as they can as we can see right here we are just a few steps away from 200 million h bar staked and the end of the first phase so you gotta stake quickly right um you gotta stake quickly if you want to get in on that um let me just see something i can put this over here hold on let's see if we can get this to work on live on camera um but we're gonna look at the tvl of h bar in a second uh so okay i logged in right it does not work for me it has not worked i have not been able to stake uh as soon as i got back uh to canada i staked right away i staked right away let's see execute smart contract approve and it gives an error right there right something went wrong blah 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 we've refunded your h bar now let's talk about what this did to the price okay we did see a massive or well, not a massive it was like a uh 34 in 15 days like leading up to this staking and now we've dumped all the way back down h bar does look primed to um to start heading back up here hopefully we start heading back up but the staking did not have the crazy effect on price that some of us thought right i thought we might have like, you know, pumped above this uh, level right here, like 26, 27. Well, we did get to 27, but like, come on, 30 plus cents, right? So let's look at the HBAR TVL. HBAR is officially on DeFiLlama.com. We can see we're sitting at 38 million. Now, my prediction, if you remember, my prediction was 50, uh, 50 million, right? Right here with Stellar. Like right up in here with theta. Where's theta? Um, my this was my prediction. Um, we're at 38 million, right? So my prediction was a little bit wrong right there. Uh, we have almost 200 million H bar staked. Now the key thing I want to want to show you guys is look at this. One, right? This is Stater. That's the only one doing staking right now. Stater, and they have 37 million TVL. If we look at something like Terra. Terra has 26 billion total value locked. Scroll down, right? There we got Anchor, Lido, Astroport. Stater's also doing um, Terra, uh, Mirror, Prism, like all of these stuff, all of these things built um, on on the platform. We're gonna see HBAR TVL just absolutely rocket here, um, I believe. Also, we have the actual HBAR account tweeting out an, a unique feature that HBAR staking will have. So keep in mind, this is like a third party. Stater is like a third party who's introducing staking. Um, but Hedera says staking on the public Hedera network will most likely have this unique feature right here. So this guy, Chris, is looking for a way that he can stake and then send the interest to another person's address. Okay. Hedera will be able to do this. So imagine a, a person called Alice decides to stake her account to Bob's account. So you on Hedera, you'll be able to stake your account to another uh, account. Alice earns no rewards, but Bob does earn staking rewards based on the combination of his account balance and Alice's account. Right. So this is a, an interesting feature that HBAR staking will have. 
let's move into some of the more uh, mainstream news coming out here. U.S. Federal Reserve is officially considering a CBDC to improve uh, payment systems. So they're officially considering this. They posted a set of uh, frequently asked questions. They tweeted out on their Twitter. Um, and then they also pointed heavily to this document, which came out in January 2022. If we type in crypto on this, right? Crypto is mentioned 13 times. And stable coins, right? Stay, if we type in stable coins, it's mentioned 17 times. And they're always in the same sentence. So this is about... Uh, the the federal reserve is ready to make their play and make a cbdc okay and that will be coming guaranteed uh it will be guaranteed even though we already have the cbdcs we just made the banks or sorry we made the exchanges into the banks and now the exchanges are issuing us dollars in the form of stablecoin um but this this is a good read to go through we also have overledger which is quant introducing support for polka dot don't you always uh don't all the haters of quant always say uh they compare it to polka dot and they say uh quant is worse than polka dot well guess what overledger now supports polka dot west end testnet the relay chain only through new standardized apis i'm going to tell you one thing right now quant is here to unite not compete Quant is here to unite and not compete. It's not competing. It's uniting, right? That's what we need. It's not competing against anything. It's uncomparable to anything. It's just connecting things. That's it. Um, and if we look at the quant price, has been doing pretty bad here, right? Go on the 12 hour. We can see we've been ranging between, you know, $90 and this 150. We've got a... Uh, a more concise range of $111 to $150 there. More like basically $100 to $150. Going to continue to range in there. Once again, I think when it goes to $100, that's a buy. Like that's a buy in my opinion. I don't think we're going to go under $100. Um, and if we do, we go to $90. That's an immediate buy as well. Now... Let's talk a little bit about NFTs. We have this crazy announcement right here. Amazon's CEO is open to selling NFTs in the future. Amazon belongs to a long list of companies that has crypto NFT related job posts on LinkedIn. So that's a kind of a stretch right there. But the CEO is open to selling NFTs. I cannot wait to get back on my NFT grind on this channel. Um, I made a lot on NFTs during NFT LA, right? I flipped a three lander for a lot of ETH. Our Kiwamis did good. Um, we're going to, we're going to do an NFT market update. Maybe you guys will get one today, but that is what my thoughts on the market are right now. Pretty horrendous market, pretty boring market, hard to make money, like very hard to make money in this market. Um, unless you're like a day trader, like trading like three to 4%. Uh, and just like scalping but what you need to be keeping up with is the freaking news the news is crazy right now we see the world's richest man i hate that title but he is trying to make moves like there are real moves being made right now um and and powerful moves so that is all we've got for the daily market update make sure you're following on twitter instagram once our instagram hits that 100k another giveaway coming right at you we're about 7,000 followers away make sure you smash the follow button on instagram join our telegram group massive things coming for the gold squad of course i appreciate all of you i love every single one of you and goodbye